Hi it's Hazy and welcome to my channel. Today I'm showing you how to not show the washing up. <laughs> There's a the washing up over there. Um how to um not dye paper because we, we all already know how to dye the paper. You put the this is avocado dye and you put the skins into the paper into the paper, there we go. <laughs> you put the skins into the saucepan, boil it for an hour and you add some bicarb to I think that apparently that helps to make it more pink or something. I thought it was going to be brown actually because it looked brown. But anyway, today's video is about how to not tear the paper when you are dying because people are asking that. People are asking that in a group or they're asking that. Some, I've seen people asking that. Um, not not to me but to other people and I thought, oh, I'll show you how to do that then. Because that was quite interesting. Look, I've got some interesting patterns in the paper as well. Uh, that one, I love this one. I don't know how I've done that. But that one's still slightly wet. I think I've, it's dripped on it somehow. I do like the way that's happened. Anyway, uh, what else can I tell you? Uh, please subscribe to my channel. Please give me a thumbs up. Please share my video. Please press the notification bell with your crafty fingers if you'd like to see more videos by me. Uh, please join my Facebook book group, Hazy Crazy Arts, at Facebook. So that's what we're, we're talking about today. If you'd like to have a go. I mean, this is going to be... I do like the bits where it's got patches of white in it. Which does... is part of this process, but you don't have to. I do explain several things about how to do it. Okay, so if you don't know how to do it carry on watching for a few minutes and you'll find out and it's very 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 simple but i will tell you okay then let's go and oh i i just want to explain that i do like to have a bit of creativity in my videos so if you haven't seen my videos before i'm going to i do like to have a bit of creativity in my videos this one is probably included hopefully <laughs> i don't know but um yeah so Please continue watching and please. Okay then, so let's go. I don't know why I can't work the camera today. I'm just in a different room, that's all. Right, so now it's a little bit drier. Okay, and I, I don't know if this would work if single papers. I don't know because I haven't done. I don't do single papers, but I've left a bit of white on there just for interest. You can colour that in what you like then. Well, I thought that was a tear then. I thought, oh, no, I'm showing you a tear. It isn't, it isn't a tear. So why, now it's a bit drier. A bit drier from the dryer, yeah, because I've had my dryer on. Oh, no, you can see my washing up. <laughs> Wait a minute. I'm going to show you that again because you could see my... Wa oh, no. Can you still see my washing up? Right, I don't want to see... You don't see washing up, do you? I had it over there the minute ago, right. Right, so what you... <laughs> I've just took one off. Right, so what you do is... Now it's a little bit drier. Look, it will lift up. Now I've left that white on for a bit of interest. But you can obviously dye it. That has got a tear in it. No, it's got a tear in it. But it's not too bad. But look, it's not like ripping to pieces. That one hasn't. The first one hasn't, of course. The one that I showed on video, that's not got a tear in it. So, right, and right, so what you do is make sure it's a little bit drier, and then you lift it up. I mean, if you don't, if you don't want to do them individually, I don't know. I don't do them individually. <laughs> I do not do them individually. Okay. And if you can see my washing up, I have to move it up there a bit so it's coming into sharp. Okay, yes, yeah, so this is the this is the untidiness and the in spontaneity of the piece. That's the other piece, that's fine, see? No tears, no tears, because that's how you do it. Okay, so how I do it. Let me see if I can do it again because I I think it might have been on portrait. Go away, Benny! <laughs> Got the cat walking in, she says, What's going on? <laughs> right. right, this is my very dirty very very dirty marbling paper tray so yeah oh dear benny what have you got and you've been eating birds he's got a feather on his cheek do you mind you've got a feather on your cheek 
you been catching those birds? That's naughty. Move then. Oh, I was open to get paw prints on, but I don't think they will. Right, so what I do is take a chunk, push it all in together like this, get a chunk like this. Now, I'm unliking the white. Now, you'd be able to do it a lot better than me because you've got more patience. I'm liking the white, though. I am liking the white. Actually, you could dye the edges of that. It would be quite nice and put it in. Mm, yes, yes, you could. But I'm just getting this a bit more dyed. Now, turn the chunk over and it'll get, more, get a bit more dyed if you like. And you can leave it there for a bit if you want to get it a bit more dyed. Because this is how I <laughs> this is how I don't tear the paper. So I grab the chunk like this. Now I don't know how many sheets that is, but it might be too many. And if it is too many and you think you're going to tear the paper, leave it as the chunk. I would leave it as the chunk. Oh look, I like the way that does that. I think don't think it dries like that. It's sort of like a crisscross pattern. I must be the paper's made. Right, yeah, so oh I managed have I managed to get one? <gasps> I managed to get one. Sometimes you can do that, you know. You can get one and it doesn't tear. So you can put that over there like that. Ooh. But this is how I do it, right. Okay. I'll just try to show you but it was on portrait and I hate doing portrait video. I hate portraits. But what you do is, if you can't do that, go grab a single one, grab a bunch. Now there is a risk that some of that in there is white in the middle. So turn it over. And if you don't mind a bit of white, this is ideal actually. Can you see that? <laughs> It's making you more dizzy than usual, isn't it? Because of the the camera. Right, I'll show you in a minute what I do. And I'm going to shut this door because last time when I was trying to film the other video that didn't work, the door was open and it looked awful. My cupboard door was open. Can you believe it? Right, so what you do then is grab your chunk of paper, chunky chunks of paper. Ugh. Rub your chunks of paper like this and then put it on your dryer. Well, wh wh whatever you're going to dry it on, if you can dry it, <laughs> the cat's gone again. Right. And then, right, let's see if I can do it with this one. I don't think it's dry enough yet, though. The cat's in the way. Right, I've put it on my dryer. Actually, I showed you last time on my dryer, so I'll just show you on my dryer. I'll just show you. Did I show you that? Did I actually show? I don't think I showed you, did I? It went off, or something went off. Well, there's my dryer. That's how it's drying on my dryer. This is the bit. This is, looks like a spaceship, apparently. <laughs> Some people that looks like. And there's my tea bags, and there's the rest of the stuff and there's a peg there like yeah oh okay right let's put make sure this goes onto portrait not portrait landscape right okay now right which is the bit i was going to do that one's very wet oh no, that's what i put on it yeah you want to need to dry them flat if possible Because I haven't got much room, look. Because I've got not much room, I've got this um, <laughs> kitchen roll. I'm hoping it works. You would, you would be a lot better than me, I'm sure. You'd think, oh, that's no good. I'm not doing that. <laughs> what, a, what a palaver, you're thinking. Right. So there's. An, have you seen, can you see my paper? Now you can see my washing up. Can you see my paper? Right. This is how I do it. Because I've dried it a little bit now, and it, although it might not be dry enough, because I'm getting a lot, of, I'll be getting a lot of white in between. <gasps> oh, it's made a pattern. 
separate them. I don't think there's quite a lot to actually do. There's only three in the last one that I couldn't record because it's on portrait. Yeah, it might not be dry enough because I've got it. Right. Well, that's the idea. Get it dry enough. Well, it might do it. And I've got a single. Sh is that a single sheet? If it's not, it's a double. Oh, it is a single sheet. Look. <gasps> mottled. I like it. I like it. I like the mottled effect. Oh, I'm liking that. What you could do is obviously dye it again. Oh, no, it is a, isn't a single sheet. It's two. Yeah, so that won't come apart. So don't try. Don't try if it won't come apart. But, as you can see... Oh, no, that's not the one. <laughs> that's the, I thought that was a single sheet. What I'm going to do is dry that a bit more. Dry it a bit more. Uh, putting that on there. Where am I going to put this? Dry it a bit more. What should we dry a bit more? Should we dry this one a bit more? Let's see if I can do it. I don't know if I can. It's not might not be dry enough, but you've got to make sure it's not dripping. Okay, if it's dripping, then it's not dry enough. There we go. Very carefully. Oh, that might be a single sheet. See, that's what you do. Well, it needs to be a little bit drier than that because you've got to be. Look, that's that's fully fully covered, isn't it? So basically, that's what you do. You just make sure it's not dripping fancy me doing this i can't believe i'm doing this because i'm useless usually there we go i'm so impatient so if i can do it anybody can do it <laughs> okay so if you want to um yeah so this is how you do it without So I can't do this at the moment, it's not separating because it's not dry enough and it sometimes tears because you've left it too long so don't leave it too long, make sure it's just not dripping I mean that's a bit too, that's not really long enough so I do hope you enjoyed that well, let's see if this is dry, let me just see if the other one's dry because I've got to use How much I'm using? This was a full roll, no one. <laughs> a lot better. Right. So let's just put that on there like that. And I'll get this. Hopefully you can can you see that from there? If not, I'll have to swap round. That should be a little bit drier now. I've only left it about what two minutes. How long have I left it? Where's my where's my timer? What's down there? Four minutes it's on. It's been about four minutes since I recorded the other bit. No. Oh, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. It will, it will, it will. Yeah, you just got to make sure it will. Okay. And there. that's how I do it anyway. So, if you like my content, please give me a thumbs up. Yay! Thumbs up. Please share my video. please press the notification bell with your crafty fingers and please subscribe to my channel love to have the subscribers and um, please join my Facebook group Hazy Crazy Arts that's Facebook <laughs> what else can I tell you um, oh I've got some printables on there I might even put some of these on there some of these mottly effect ones I like these and then what's the other one that I was going to show you I've put my board on it. Oh, might make, make, make it a, make a pattern actually.
Right, this is one of the drier ones. This is one I did first. This is one of the because what I did was I thought, oh that look oh yes it has got mottled. Can you see that? Mottly effect, yay. It has, it has got the mottly effect, but it's very pale. That's why I left it like that on purpose. They don't dry like that. They'll probably dry really nicely. That's got a bit of a oh there we go a little bit of a thing so that's how i do it then okay then i will say goodbye now and thank you very much for watching bye